So, we're here with Patrick Lloyd from Book People. What's up, Patrick? Uh, not too much. How are you? Good. Thanks for uh, taking some time out to meet with us today. Appreciate that. Uh, as we discussed, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and you can either answer them or not answer them any way that you like. Okay. So, we take polite society, don't write out the window in the beginning. Cool. I didn't really realize that until Phoenix, but I kind of like saying that, so I've been saying it for every interview, as all of our viewers know at this point. Uh, age? 26. Political orientation? Mm. Skeptical. Fair enough. How about religion or religious affiliation? Uh, I'm atheist. Okay. And your job title here in Austin? Floor manager. Of uh, book people, right? Yes. And that's a uh, pretty huge, actually, independent bookstore here in Austin. It is the largest independent bookstore in Texas. Cool. cool. Do you know where you rank nationally? Um, I know Powell's is bigger. Tattered cover may be bigger. Probably like top five, but cool. I'm not sure about that. As far as independent businesses. It looks great in here, by the way. Uh, and can you talk about the role that Book People plays in the community here in Austin? Sure. Um, we and Waterloo Records, which is right across the street from us, um, started the Keep Austin Weird campaign, which has been spreading out to Boulder and maybe Louisville and probably a few other places that you were probably aware of. Mm -hmm. um, and that was basically started by us and our CEO um, to get people to... Women, shop said? more in, mm. at Horses. places like this and the places that you've been visiting. Um, so we're just here to promote that, this sell books cool. obviously, um, and just add a little flavor to the city. Cool. Can you talk about the relationship that Book People has with the local independent community here in Austin? Sure. Um, I'd say we've been around forever. I mean, we've, we've changed owners three times, we've been around for 30 years in one incarnation or another. Um, so I think that most of the small, I mean, we're obviously one of the biggest independent businesses in town, so I think other people, uh, other businesses kind of look to us for what they're going to do. Us and Waterloo Records are kind of, Sixth and Lamar is a famous intersection in the city, mostly because of us and, and the record store. So, you know, um, people look to, to book people in Waterloo and places like that as to kind of what's going on in the city and how the economy is doing, et cetera. They want to see us do well. How are you guys doing? We, uh, you know, it was rough. This the, Early this year was January, February was, um, we were slow. But we were up uh, in April from last year. So people, for whatever reason, seem to be wanting to spend some more money on books again, which yeah. is a good sign. Yeah. What I've found, in, uh, just as an aside in my travels, is that um, a lot of these local businesses, especially like some of the leading integrated local businesses, seem to be bouncing back the fastest. Yeah. yeah. So can you talk about, oh, this, one's, this is the funny question. Well, I wouldn't tell you. Okay. So if the local independent community in Austin were an uh -huh. animal, uh -huh. what animal would it be and why? The whole community? Mm -hmm. Um... We would be uh, a dolphin, okay. I suppose. Why? Because we like to have fun. Uh, we are we're people who plays in the softball league with the Austin Chronicle and Waterloo Records and Emo's uh, bar and uh, a clothing shop called New Bohemia and about four other businesses. Um, and it's a good time, um, you know. We like to play, and uh, but you know everybody likes us for the most part. Right. I would say, and, I, and we're intelligent. Cool. So moving on, talk about a time when book people needed the support of the local independent community, sure. and uh, they were there for them. If, if that's ever happened. Yeah, definitely. Um, we have a guy who works here named Topher Bradfield, who uh, is our kids outreach coordinator. Is his official title. Um, which basically means guru of all things interesting to 9 to 14 year old uh, kids who like to read. And so uh, a few years ago he um, was, he needed to leave because he needed some more money and um, the local community didn't want him to do that. So uh, they, the kids and their parents started a petition for, to get to our CEO basically asking him to work something out to keep Topher here, uh, and it worked. And now Topher's running uh, basically the first, what we call it literary camps, um, is a really popular series of children's books uh, about a character named Percy Jackson, the movie will be coming out in a couple, in a couple of years. It's by the same guy who did the first Harry Potter movie, 
Um, so you'll be hearing a lot about it, and now we have summer camps based on those books led by Topher, and they sell out every summer. Is he here today? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, we can find him and we'll get a picture of him. Cool. Okay. And Topher? Yeah. He was outside just as I walked uh, in. Right on. Yeah. Oh, maybe he's still he's milling around. Okay, last two. So can you talk about um, a lesson learned or a piece of advice you might have to offer uh, to anyone who might see this, um, just based on your experiences here at Book People and the local independent community? As far as running a business? Well, just in terms of, um, you know, I mean, you talked about the role that Book People play in here, mm -hmm. and, you know, it seems like a pretty important role in the mm -hmm. community. So you guys do stuff. Right. So and it seems like you do it well. You're one of the top five bookstores, independent bookstores in the country. Mm -hmm. um, what do you th what do you think would be helpful for people to know about? Um, the people that work here aren't here for the money. They're here because they enjoy what they do. Isn't that right, Sam? Yep. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't make a lot of money, so uh, you know, spend money at the places where where the people are there to be interesting and funny and help you find what you're looking for. Cool. Last question. Sure. And this one, I'm going to ask you to talk to the camera. Okay. And if, I'm going to ask you also to speak on this one as an individual. Okay. Right? So you kind of got an orientation of what I'm trying to do, what we're trying to do with this project, and where we're coming from, and how we're trying to connect the dots for folks to realize how important this whole thing is. If you had a message for anyone who might see this, and you know that could be anyone, right? Who knows? Hopefully it's a lot of people, right? Um, what would that message be? Um... Life is better when it's interesting, and big box stores are not interesting. They're boring, and they're the same everywhere, and uh, who wants to travel around the country and see the same thing over and over? Not me.